uh, this month. Uh, and BTRS uh, supports snapshot feature. And implement uh, the advantage of implementing snapshot in file system is snap uh, we, we can do better job than uh, implementing in the device mapper since file system knows all the details of file system. So you can do whatever you want. And another option is snapshot feature in device mapper. Uh, device mapper is a uh, device mapper works uh, un uh, under file systems. So device th the advantage of uh, implementing snapshot in DM is it works for all the file systems, ext3 and or ext2 or XFS, whatever you, uh, whatever file system works with DM snapshot feature. So, uh, so both uh, option has cons, uh, plus. So, uh, but as in my opinion, uh, both is useful. If you uh, if you use BTRFS, you can use a snapshot feature in BTRFS, but. <coughs> But uh, there are some other file system uh, you can want to use. So device mapper snapshot is well still useful. And uh, well, uh, as as I said before, uh, device map currently device mapper support uh, two snapshot implementations, and um, two implementation we call uh, transient and persistent. And transient it means uh, if you if when you create snapshot, all snapshot information uh, stores in memory. So when you shut down your machine, uh, all the snapshot has gone. So it's uh, it's well. Uh, I guess uh, it's I don't know people use this feature for what, but well, we, we have, we support this uh, feature. And persistent means, uh, as you expect, snapshot uh, information uh, stores in disk. So uh, after you uh, reboot uh, your machine, uh, snapshot image still there. So you can use snapshot uh, that you created before. So uh, I'll talk about uh, persistent snapshot now uh, today. And uh, uh, so, what's wrong with uh, persistent snapshot? Currently, DM snapshot. Well, uh, the the main problem is performance. Uh, performance drops in inverse proportion to the number of snapshots. Well, and all the information for snapshot must be in memory. So if you create tons of snapshots, uh, the memory must, uh, you need uh, huge memory. So that's, uh, uh, that's another problem. So uh, basically, uh, the current persistent snapshot is not designed to keep snapshot for a long time, and many keep a lot of snapshots. So, okay, I will give you an example. Uh, so, I'm not overstating uh, the numbers, the performance. Uh, this is a post uh, DM debug mailing list, device map uh, uh, mailing list. Uh, this is uh, I think uh, this is a uh, peep uh, the guy uh, posted this. Well, and uh, as you can see, the number of uh, as increased, uh, the number of snapshot increased, the performance drops and drops, and well, I guess with eight snapshots, the performance is unacceptable for most of people, I guess. So uh, this is, uh, well, so uh, I think uh, there are not many uh, people, uh, administrator, who can use currently uh, DM snapshot feature, that's, uh, I guess that's the main reason, f uh, the performance is the main reason, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure, but I think. So what, so I'll talk about why uh, 
the client snapshot uh, perform uh, badly. So how uh, so this is a uh, this is explain how the client snapshot works. Uh, so to explain why the performance is so bad, <laughs> the problem is well uh, if you the client snap uh, you can create tons of snapshot, uh, but each the problem is each snapshot has their own set of exception table and exception blocks, which means uh, as it, uh, the figure says, uh, snapshot has three items and first items origin blocks. Uh, this is uh, includes the latest contest contents. So and the exception exception table, which means uh, snapshot metadata, and uh, except uh, and the last item is exception blocks. That includes the content when you create uh, create a snapshot. So exception blocks ho uh, hold all the data when when you create snapshot. So uh, after the uh, so when you up when you update uh, origin blocks, basically snap uh, we uh, DM snapshot uh, copies uh, the old contents to exception blocks and the except and the update metadata. It means it says uh, where where the old data stores. So uh, that's just, uh, how. Uh, snapshot works and the problem is as I said each snapshot has own set of exception table and exception blocks so you mean uh, it means with eight snap eight snapshots uh, we you have eight uh, exception table and exception blocks so how our write works in persistent snapshot means uh, when you update a single block, uh, DM snapshot sees the exception table of the first snapshot is a block to write uh, preserved or not. And uh, DM snap next DM snapshot check need to check uh, the exception table of exception uh, of the second snapshot. And so if you have eight snapshot, you we we do this operation eight times, and that means we uh, DM snapshot uh, write eight blocks and eight update eight metadata. So that means uh, if you create more snapshot, you you need to write more blocks and. Uh, of course, more seeks and performance drops. That's the problem. That's the main problem of the client DM snapshot. And uh, well, uh, this is uh, how this is a new snapshot uh, implementation. How it how works? Uh, uh, the well. The point is, all snapshots share the exception table and the exception blocks. So uh, the number of snapshots is not related with the number of writes. So that's the point, whole point. Uh, basically, uh, most of snapshot are most of snapshot implementation do, do the same thing. Basically, creating. Uh, most of implementation share share the exception table and the exception blocks. If you do not, uh, as I as I talked, uh, more the number of snapshot. Uh, if you create number of lot of snapshot, you need to write a lot of blocks. That that doesn't work well. So not scalable. So basically, uh, decent snapshot implementation. Uh, share the exception table and the exception blocks, and uh, well, and uh, 
new implementation has only one exception table. So e exception table uh, is very small and uh, can be cached uh, well in memory. So that's <coughs> so uh, and uh, well, I have to say uh, the new implementation uh, snapshot code is not written from scratch. I didn't. Uh, this is basically based on the master code. Uh, I guess, does anyone know the master project? No? Nobody? Well, the master is, uh, well, uh, remote, replication, uh, remote replication software is kind of, well, the master does uh, exactly uh, net apps, uh, snap mirror? I think snap mirror. Uh, the well, snap creating snapshot continuously and sending the delta of delta between two snapshot to secondary server, and so it means secondary server always has a consistent data. Uh, basically, uh, the master is uh, well uh, net up net uh, network appliance uh, snap mirror does. So this is a, a, the master snapshot code works in user space. So I, I modified the code for kernel space. So the, the master works for, I guess, uh, uh, two or three years. Uh, for, so Google people, uh, the maintainer of the master it works for Google and I, s I guess uh, it, it works for some people. So the code uh, is supposed to be stable. So, so uh, I stored the code and making it, uh, making modified it to work kernel space. So, uh, okay, uh, the new snapshot implementation is, uh, has some limitations, of course. And uh, well, limitation of this is uh, due to the B3 format used for exception table in new snapshot code. So this is a fundamental limitation. Uh, I can fix this limitation. So uh, pretty much it, this uh, we have to well we have to live with these limitations, uh, hopefully uh, the snap, the new implementation still uh, useful for some works, hopefully. Power file system or power host? Yeah, power uh, yeah, ho ho host. Ah, so, ah, sorry, power file system. Uh, sorry, power file system. Uh, I mean, uh, well, device, if you create a, uh, New snapshot device, you can be, uh, you can create on a file system on it, and uh, this is a limitation per uh, device per snapshot device. So it's it, this is a limitation per file system. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Uh, previous uh, DM snapshot had no limitation about the number of snapshot. Oh. Yeah, 16. 16? 16. 16. Uh, 16. Previous uh, DM implementation? N no. Uh, uh, pre uh, previous DM snapshot? Oh, wow. This is a this is about the previous DM snapshot number. The number of snapshot is not limited, but if you create a lot of snapshot, the performance is very poor. That's a problem with, is that clear? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. Uh, and uh, well, the new snapshot implementation support writable snapshot. It means you update a snapshot. So if 
you create a snapshot and then update snapshot. This is a writable snapshot. Uh, current DM snapshot support writable snapshot. But some of snapshot implementation doesn't support writable snapshot. Right? And but uh, the limitation is the new implementation and also the old DM snapshot implementation doesn't support a snapshot of a snapshot. It means if we, when you create a snapshot and you want, a, you want to create a snapshot of that snapshot, it, you can't. Well, it's, it's pretty difficult to implementing this feature. Probably uh, implementing a s in file system, it makes easier to implement this snapshot of a snapshot, but implementing this feature in device mapper, I mean, not in file system, is pretty difficult. And so, well, uh, probably uh, uh, here uh, I should explain the performance of the new snapshot, but sorry, uh, uh, I can't, uh, it's not ready for performance evaluation. It's, yeah, you can, uh, the code is available, so you can do that, but, well, the performance is not so great. Uh, I mean, the number of snapshot is not related with performance, but performance, uh, I need to, I have still worked to a lot of things to improve snapshot. And uh, another issue is uh, 2.6.29 RC1 has a flexible framework to support multiple snapshot implementations. We have, uh, as I said, we have uh, DM snapshot ha support to uh, in snapshot implementations, but uh, it's not flexible enough. So uh, I, I, uh, I propose uh, new snapshot implementations and the Red Hat DM developers improved uh, core, core framework to uh, make it flexible to handle multiple snapshot. So uh, I did, uh, well, I did make, I did, I made some progress, but it's not ready for mainline, but well, hopefully 2.630 or something, uh, I, I'm, I'm planning to push new snapshot implementations. But, uh, all, the code for 2.28 uh, was posted to DM mailing list and uh, I had a Gitly on kernel ORG, so if you, if you are interested in it, you can try it now. And I'm updating the code for, for the new framework, so hopefully I can do this uh, during this conference because I'm not so busy uh, this week, so. I uh, hopefully so uh, some of to do work. I mean, uh, need to finish journaling code for unexpected crashes. It means uh, as it, as I as I explained, snapshots keeps some metadata for it, and as I the current DM snapshot. Metadata is not updated um, in atomic manner. So if you uh, the system crashed in some critical uh, critical work during critical work, you m maybe you you could see corrupted snapshot data. So we need some we need something uh, we need to prepare for unexpected system classes like file systems. So it's basically uh, as most of file system does, uh, we need, uh, I plan to journaling uh, code in snapshot. Uh, and we, as I said, I need to work on performance improvement. And of course, we need more testings. 
And the feature work is, well, uh, kind of, uh, I plan to do kind of the master stuff. As I said, the master is, uh, is designed for remote replication systems. We have two primary and secondary servers, and primary server uh, creating snapshot uh, uh, occasionally and sending the delta between two snapshot to secondary server, and secondary server applied it. So uh, we create secondary server that the data on secondary server is always consistent. And as I said, uh, this is a uh, net app snap mirror does similar things. So uh, use so my. In my plan, I create a user space daemon, and the user space daemon create a tail DM snapshot to create snapshots. And, and uh, I plan to add the interface, enable user space daemon to get the delta between snapshots. So sending delta to secondary server and apply uh, the daemon on secondary server, apply the delta to image. So that's uh, how it works. Uh, my slide is, this is the last slide. Uh, so any questions? Hi. I've got two, if I can be that uh, uh, OK, OK. First is, how is the section block table smaller with your uh, new implementation? OK, OK. Table? Mm. Yeah, okay. So each snap with the current snap. snap. Yeah, all, so we, with all snapshot implementation, yeah. each snapshot has uh, exceptional table. So if you if you create if you have eight snapshot, eight snapshot has own exception table. So I understand. In other words, you mean that it's all, all delta to one point in time. No, no, no. They, they can be different points in time. They all have to have. If you change a block, one minute. That then you can call that moment delta. What moment? Okay. Uh, Seems like okay. Well, I have only one minute. So, <laughs> second question is if you. The main purpose of the, the second uh, of this uh, uh, what? Zoom master, uh, Zoom master. role is basically for file service, for, 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 um, uh, for um, file service type. Yeah. Type. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay, uh, thanks. Thank you.